why it is time for some soul searching. So today, um, it's going to be about uh, cleansing. It's about cleansing your soul. Um, getting all cleaned up so you can uh, move on and um, feel free of fear and guilt and just reach to the star and um, live the life of your dreams. So, how do we do that? Uh, each person has a different um, outcome. Uh, we all have different paths, different experience, different friends, family. So, you're going to have to um, write down a unique case of a dilemma and stress and issues. And and um, the main thing is going to be uh, focusing on abundance. So is there something in your life that felt like um, you have lost something and uh, you have feel a lot of pain and suffering through that loss and we all lose something one day or another so we're gonna focus on that on that loss because loss is a very precious thing loss can do uh, many damage in our um, advancement and in our soul and our dignity and our self-respect and um, for us to be able to be aware of a loss we need to um, be aware of uh, of the impact uh, that it has on a daily life, and so we have to face uh, that fear. We have to face this pain. So um, it's very um, it's very insightful because, um, by example, me I remember. Um, not understanding something for the longest time and um, I'm going a little um, uh, into my uh, private life here but you know it's it's my group so I might as well and uh, um, it's difficult to fix something if we're not aware of where the root of the problem is so I always had that um, trouble understanding why I have lost so many very close friends friends and I had shared so many experience and, and fun and laughter and um, uh, and who I was very good friends who we um, were really um, uh, enjoying our friendship mutual respect all this there was no um, no anger issue, no uh, no drama, no um, disrespect of any kind. Uh, it was just very strong bond relationship, uh, and I'm talking about a few. And so, uh, when I went on in uh, my roller coaster um, battle and uh, fighting through uh, through many hair misery places and. And, and abusive relationship and uh, and just simply bad luck and many many things um, so I'm advancing I'm advancing I'm a warrior I just keep moving keep moving you know keep taking and I just keep getting up and that was me you know living that life like um, like an adventure the thing for me always been an adventure um, I never saw myself different different than anybody else I always saw myself as a, you know, as an individual, as uh, with strength and qualities, and uh, who can actually adapt uh, more easily to new situation and to new problems uh, faster and quicker than most. Um, who, who can affront many uh, survival uh, circumstances as easier than other people. Uh, for some some reason you know i did not even grow up in a in a in a place who would have put me into that uh set mindset i was just adventurous uh, period so it's good because you uh you have more experience in life and street life also and so 
you know you you're more aware of what's going on and you know how to find your ways and you know but you also can get a lot of trouble and that, that's me because i came from a good background you know i uh thought i knew everything and i certainly wasn't used to the um uh, the bad side of it uh, of of uh, of li- of dealing with people who don't have any dignity or uh, uh, self-respect or even respect for anybody or um, don't even have a commitment to that their world no value or no moral value whatsoever you know so it's different deal with uh, people who, who are not human who don't have um you mean um you you mean decency period you know so uh yeah when i had to deal with this was a whole other story so um as i'm going through life i feel like i'm i am feeling uh torn and i'm feeling torn apart from that loss from those very good relationship and i tried to rebuild and i try to reach over the years in my uh why I was in a bad shape um and and nothing works and it's not picking on and I'm always thinking why did I do so bad um and I remember it's coming haunting me in my dreams I keep dreaming of those friends over and over as we were still friends and sometimes good dreams sometimes bad dreams uh like like dreams where we fight and dreams where we get along it's just weird and um, I'm just ignoring uh, ignoring it as I go but um, I try to understand uh, and, and I try to make the distance and, and try to see their point of view and see how if I, I might have hurt them and I might have done something wrong and they want to put a distance between us for a reason and I have to approve that and accept it and move on and not um, drive on, you know, uh, the past period. But uh, that's what I tried to do for so many years and I remember it still haunted me because those were pure relationship and there was no... Um, there was nothing, uh, there was no dirt on those relationships. So that's why it was really sad. And um, so I digged and dig years and tried to figure out what could I have done when it was so bad. And I never figured it out. And they would not tell me anything either. Um, so... It took me a long, 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 long time for me to be able to see if I have done anything wrong. I was, I had to be able to see if um, uh, my wrongs, my flaws, basically. So I guess we think we know our flaws, but a lot of time we actually don't. Uh, I, I have flaws, but not many. I guess that's a mistake, been saying uh, I barely have no flaws. Of course I have flaws, um, but um, I never noticed that I was being uh, selfish, maybe self-centered. And because I am so generous and so compassionate and I want to help and I do help everybody in need, and I advise everybody in need, I guide anybody in need. As I grew up, all my friendship were like that way. Uh, we help each other, but I was usually more of one you could rely on, the, the most generous person than you could rely on. And I never had anything bad to say about anybody. And I was just here to uh, reunite everybody in all the ways and bring a smile and laugh and that's it. Um, and I know it's... Uh, that it's a, a plus you would think um, but um, uh, because we're not perfect I, I wasn't able to see um, when I was and um, 
and that maybe my selfishness, my self-centeredness uh, ha- was affecting others. Uh, maybe some of my family members as well. Um, so until I was able to see that, then I was self-centered, I could not see uh, what I've done wrong. So when I realized uh, that perhaps I might have been a uh, self-centered in my life, and then other people might have feel small and left off and abandoned and maybe left behind by me. Um, I never, I had to see that to be able to see that I might have make other people feel bad and insecure or hurt. And um, so it takes a lot of soul searching for you to um, to free yourself of of your problems and your issues and your fears and your guilt. So um, I know it's a long recording and if anybody is courageous enough to uh, go that long, then congratulations, you might learn something today by me. If not, uh, well, well, it will be just for my one or two uh, favorite listeners. And um uh, yeah, that's the number one thing is to, to realize. But we cannot change things if we're not aware of them. So see, if I have been aware that I was doing anything wrong by being just me, I did not know how to be different by being just myself. So I didn't know being myself was wrong. So for me to um, to, to be able to see it uh, and then apologize uh, being able to apologize for being too self-centered and then being able to say, okay, I'm going to, uh, now that I know, I'm going to try to be less self-centered and more worry about everybody else around me. And and then realize that that might have been the cause of some of my friendship. Of course, I'm not taking all the blame. Uh, some of the fr- friendship weren't good enough or maybe they uh, are the one who, who hold the grudge and they have some issues they have to resolve it's not all on my part, but you know, I'm able to move on and they should be able to move on and have a great life. And so, yeah, loss and abandonment can be very p- painful. So this where um, some friendship, when I didn't feel like I did something, besides being self-centered at times in my life, I didn't feel like I did anything extreme for them to just leave me for the rest of my life and never want to take part in my life. And, um, I just accepted. Uh, not a long time ago, I finally closed, shut the door, and say, "Hey, uh, I'm not gonna live in that loss anymore because it's holding me back and it's uh, holding me in the past, and I am done uh, living this way. This is the new me. Uh, the old me is was then, you know, and now it's now. So um, the new me is." Uh, is uh, rekindling with new uh, great friendship and uh, and that's that all right hope everybody has a wonderful wednesday